Hey, I'm going back to the show. I've been having problems with the spaces. So I'm going to go back to what I was watching. Hold on just a second. Okay. Hey, Shana. Okay, I want to go back to... And whatever happens tomorrow, may the best men win. Absolutely. I want you to give your full 100%, okay? Okay. Promise? I pink a promise. Pinky promise. Okay, pinky promise. I'm so close. I, I have to give it my all at this point or else I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. My? Yes? My fly was down the entire night. Sleep in here with that, huh? Oh my goodness. Ah. Wow. Can I go see it? I do kind of want to go see it. Let's go see it. Wow. It's so cute. Wow. It's unbelievably. It's a like, lot of money, my. That's a lot of money. Looking at it now definitely hits different. I'm not gonna lie. I know, right? That's it, my. It's gonna be one of us tomorrow. You ready to become a millionaire? So, that, um, because I'm rewatching um some parts of the show. I do that when I, you know, I talk about these things. Because it was such an intense and such a serious moment, I wanted to rewatch it, even with the keys, trying to figure out. <laughs> what strategy can you use with rock, papers, rock, paper, uh, scissors? I really was just intrigued because I actually want to tell you guys I've actually watched because um, everybody was telling me, including Sheena, to watch the um, the old or whatever of the show so i actually i took some time today before i watched the finale i didn't get to the, to the everything but even watching i think the first maybe four episodes um really opened my eyes to watching the reality tv show um i do You're on mute, Kamisha. Sorry. Um, if he, if he, what I said was, I feel like May deserved to win. If he would have won, I would have felt the same. Because I feel like he worked for it. He gave, he was, he surprised me. Because in the beginning, I didn't even look at him as somebody that could win. No shade. I didn't even look at, look at him as somebody that could even get to this place that he's in. But to watch him, especially the latter part of the game, he impressed me. He did. And so Sam was somebody I expected to get to the end. I did. I expected Sam to get to the end. But May, I don't know. Sheena, how do you feel about it? And thank you to me. I was on mute, baby. Um, well, as soon as Sam got cut, I said, uh, is it May or Mai? I feel like I'm always forgetting. I heard her say her grandkid call her May May, but people in the show was calling her okay, Mai. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, okay. So I think it's Mai. They do, I think they call her May May, but I think it's Mai. So, um, as soon as Sam got cut, I said, oh, Mai's going to win. And so when they said, 
okay, it's a game of rock, paper, scissors. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? We're about to play rock, paper, scissors for $4.56 million? Okay, girl, whatever. They made it a little bit more difficult because, you know, you had to do with the keys. But I still was like, really? All right. Um, but I sent the space to... Um, I sent the space to, yes, Kamisha. I don't know why you're saying girl. Yes. Because this is what the space, to the title should have been to begin with. But um, so I sent the space to Robbie. I was hoping that Robbie would come, but I don't know if he's done or if he's around. Because this is something that Robbie and I talked about. I don't know. I think it was a survivor space. I don't know, but it's one of these game spaces, we talked about the strategy behind playing rock, paper, scissors. And what mine did is exactly correct. If you are playing with, and I actually looked this up because I know I was going to talk about this before I came in here. So Phil uses all pronouns, he, she, they, but most likely Phil was socialized as a boy. So because of what I'm talking about, I'm going to say he. Whenever you're playing with a man, nine times out of 10, they're going to pick rock. So you always pick paper because they're going to pick rock. And that is exactly what Mai said. And so he picked rock and she picked paper. Out of the first four plays that they did, he picked rock three times. And so after he picked rock and lost, when they came back to do the next play, I said, oh, he's going to fake her out. He's going to pick rock again. And he did. And she picked scissors. And I was like, no, you got to pick paper again because he's thinking that you're thinking, oh, he's not going to do rock again. But she was, you know, paying attention to what he was choosing and one step ahead of him. And I think her background as an investigator, her background being the military, is like why she won this game. Because all of the games, when she, her skill set really showed, it's going back to that training. So the second Sam was gone, I said, oh, it's over. And I don't know that she would have beaten Sam as easily as she beat Phil, but I feel like she probably still would have won, even if it had been her and Sam. But when they were doing the buttons, I was going to pick circle. So I literally would have fucking won squid game because I would have chosen a circle. And let's just say I'm Sam, since we both have S names. I would have chosen Phil. There's no way I would have kept my. I, I, I could have had $4.5 million right now. <laughs> I could be a millionaire right now. Well, look, she, it, well, I 100%, Sheena, I, well, first of all, ma'am, this space, let me clarify something really quick. This space, I never changed the name to it. The other three was because I could not get into this space. I was having like some issues. Oh, and so I was I struggling. See. Hey, G. So it's why you see like three or four spaces because I could not, I was having a struggle moment. But anyway, um, no, I I hundred percent um agree with you. But the rock paper scissors, I think I must don't know how to play because I was like, I don't remember playing it and everything. But her strategy was really was really really good. Um, I do believe if Sam was there, it'd be a little more difficult. But I do believe she still would have beat beat Sam. I just think that I feel bad for Sam watching him. He seemed so devastated, man. I was like, bro. All that damn money I saw sitting down at the bottom of that floor. Girl, I was like, oh, my God, that money looks so pretty sitting there. I just took pictures of it because I was just like, I was like, man, I have got to get on this show. That is a lot of freaking money. And when I freaking watched the, um, what do you call it? The real, whatever, the, the first one or whatever, that is so freaking heavy. Like, that's freaking heavy, man. Like, the people getting killed and real life, real life, that freaking, I was traumatized. I was like, how was anybody, how was anybody even wanting to go on the show after watching this? Let me say that. How was anybody wanting to go on the show after watching that? I, I don't understand. That was my first time seeing people literally getting shot. 
for not moving. I was like, what the? Baby, when that woman got shot in the head, I said, oh, hell no. And this is what made y'all want to come on the show. Now, mind you, I hadn't watched it. So I, I don't. Mm. Sheena, why do people want to go on the show after watching the original? The original is very traumatizing. Because it's 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 scary, but it's fun. That's why. To be honest, I I would never apply for this show because I don't even know I would make it out of red light, green light. Especially everything they done told us about it. How long you have to hold the position? It's freezing cold, girl. I would never apply to this show. Because if I got out in red, because basically half of the people are were got out in red light, green light. If I applied for this show and I got out in red light, green light, do you know how fucking furious I would be? But the silver lining would be they pay for you to get there. And my best friend lives in London. So I would just stay like a few extra days and hang out with my friend. And I wouldn't have to pay for my flight. <laughs> So that's what, that's what I would do. I would just be like, well, I guess I'm going to go hang out with my friend. Well, that's smart. That's smart. That's something different. But let me ask you guys a question. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Sheena, a question as far as this is the fin- finale episode. Did it, like, fill your belly? You know, like, your appetite, everybody's appetite was so, you know, is it, who's going to be, who's going to be? Which, are you fulfilled for this episode? You know, it's funny that you asked that. Because I was sitting there watching and I was thinking to myself, this is so anticlimactic. <laughs> like for that series, first of all, I was not rooting for anybody. That's number one. So that was already an issue. But then for it to end with two some buttons, which I'm not going to lie, that was suspenseful. But that was more suspenseful than when they played rock, paper, scissors. Because she was beat, she was beating him so much. Well, first of all, like I told y'all, I already said as soon as Sam was out, I said Mai's winning. But she was beating him so much, it was like, oh, there's no way Phil's winning. Just because, just looking at um, how many keys are left, like st- st- ugh, statistically speaking, she's gonna win because she's gonna have more chances. Like she had so many more chances than Phil. Like, he would have had to just be super lucky to have won. Because it took him, um, he, well, no, he got the second one. And then I think she got the next two. Like, it was just, he didn't have as nearly as many. He had, like, one sixteenth of the chances that she had to be right. But this is my question for you, Kamisha. Which button would you have chosen? I think I would have actually chosen the circle. I don't know why. I feel like I would not have chosen the one she chose. I would have chose the circle. Which one would you have chosen? The circle. And I, I'd already told you, I know the strategy for rock, paper, scissors, especially playing against um, somebody that was socialized as a man, since Phil uses all pronouns. I know the strategy. I would have ate him up in rock, paper, scissors. I, I would be a millionaire right now. Had I had I been my, I would be a millionaire right now, just like her. Now, it would have been more interesting if she was playing against a woman. Because then, I don't, I don't really know what you do. If I was playing against a woman, I would probably go scissors. That's probably what I would have done. There's so many things I want to say about that, but I'm not. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have. I would have probably. Hi, Jesse. I would have probably. My Jesse, is here. Jesse, request because I, I want to know what you thought I, I, I about the finale, girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, 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 but I would have. I would have gone. The reason why I would have gone scissors is because I would have be thinking. Well, she's probably going to think that I'm going to do rock. Just because people like to start with rock, so she's probably gonna do paper. So I'll do scissors. That's Jessie, that's why I would have gone scissors. Jesse just left. Some of them haven't even a couple of them hit me up. Some of them haven't even watched the show. Kevin um, came in my last space, the one I deleted because it just wasn't working. He said about three or four of them are gonna go watch it right now. A lot of us hadn't seen it. So oh, a lot wow. of them hadn't even, yeah, he just some loved it because they were all. But do, but do they know what happened or they don't know what happened? 
He said he found out when he saw my, my Twitter. That's girl. I told you. <laughs> no, because no, he said because, yeah. no. He said they're drinking and having fun. That's why he said they're not even love them or just drinking and having a good time. They're all planning okay. to watch it later or whatever. I don't know. So he's okay. drunk a little if bit. you were if you were playing against a woman, what would you have chosen for your first one? It wouldn't have been oh for rock paper scissors. Was it rock? Probably have been ooh paper. I think I would have chose paper. And I would have cut you, girl. <laughs> you you are so violent tonight. <laughs> Just, money makes Betty very violent, no, by the way. Yeah. But you see that? <laughs> no, but you just proved my strategy because you chose paper because you probably thought I was gonna do rock. So I, you chose paper and I chose scissors. So we just bore this strategy out. We tested the strategy. So future reference, y'all, if you're playing rock, paper, scissors with a, a woman, you need to go scissors. So that's, so that's our, we got our strategy worked out for the first play. Hold on. What do you say? So Coleslaw says um, the button pushing was strategy two. Most people are right-handed and would pick the square because it has definite angles. People would also pick the triangle because it's in the middle. People are uncomfortable with left, and circles seem so obvious that people would ignore it. Well, I'm actually right-handed. A lot of times I try to go against what people think, especially when I'm doing something and like playing something. I do automatically go like to the right, to be fair, when I do things. So because of that type of situation... I probably would try to do the opposite. I don't know if that'd be a good strategy or not, but I know I would have tried to do the opposite. Uh, go ahead, baby girl. Okay, so uh, I want to know, Coleslaw, can you elaborate? What does the angles have to do with it? So the reason why I said um, circle is because there was just something about that circle that I, I don't know, like it was just something I was trying to think about the game and everything that happened, everything that's going on. And something was just uh, drawing me to the circle. So that's why I was like, oh, circle. Uh, welcome, bloody money <laughs> to the stage. What you guys say, baby? Hello, mama. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing. I'm at work right now, so I need to make it fast. Okay, so I saw the ending. Okay, sorry, I just had to walk away from my office, so I need a personal space here. Can you still hear me? Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, I, I need to find a, a perfect space. I just finished the challenge just now, season 39. Wait, the challenge. This we're talking about. No, I know, I know, I know. I just watch it. Oh, no, no. So, so blood money. You the one came on my Instagram before. You've been here before, right? Yes, yes. My the, Instagram. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I I figured that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I know him. He's been here. He's been on my Instagram, and he's been on. He has a little. Go ahead, babe. Take your time. Hey, Jesse. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. Hi, Jesse. Finale night. Yo, what Jesse, the heck? <laughs> Jesse, you so goofy. Uh, I know you have sometimes you struggle. Go ahead. I mean, not struggle. Go ahead, bloody. Uh, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. I don't know if okay. we can call you on, okay. on here, baby. Go ahead. All right. Sorry about that. I just saw the, I just watched it, uh, the Squid Game finale. And by the end, uh, the game, rock, paper, scissors to determine the winner is like, are you? Uh, I thought it's going to be something more intrigued, but rock, paper, scissors? Jesus Christ. So I, uh, I would I say congratulations to, did my one season? Uh, let's just be short. I just don't want to mess it up. Did my win season? No, no. Yeah, yes, yes, baby. He, she did. I already knew that. I already knew that she's going to win. And also, did you know that season two is going to be renewed? The yes, I do, out. baby. I do. Uh huh. I do. Uh, and I'm going to start casting. Uh, I already, uh, I just about to cast right now. So, fingers crossed. Season one. 
I hope, you, I, hope, you, I hope you get it, baby. I hope you get on there. Hey, Mama Kamisha, there's one thing I need to address. That we Season two needs to be better than season one. Because we already saw the controversies, the lawsuits, the appearance fees. They need to change that. Starting season two, they need to change that. If you came to reality show and you're not getting paid, why am I here anyway? You just wasted my time. Exactly. So, first of all, guys, welcome everybody. Um, mute yourself, buddy. But baby, do a favor, baby. When you come, when you talk, you do a favor. Mute yourself so that everybody can uh, speak. You got me. Bloody money. Mute yourself, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so guys, in between, y'all mute yourself. Is he's new to Twitter? So kind of give him an opportunity. There you go, sweetie. Okay, I see you, Kimo Cheese. How you doing? Um, Jesse, my boo is here. I have so many kids. I'm mother to so many, I feel like. Um, so I am so excited my boo boo is here. Jesse, of course, I do want to hear your opinion about the finale. And I know you have some things to say. So go ahead, Jesse. What do you got to say, mama? All right. Okay. I I love my I'm glad she won. I know people kind of hate because she played some strat you know, she played some strategy, which you have to do in between all that luck, right? But I thought the same thing. I saw it. I said, rock, paper, scissors for a four point five six million dollars. It honestly, like it honestly made me laugh out loud a little bit. <laughs> like the drama of rock, paper, scissors. Like I play that as a warm up in my gym class, you know, and here they are doing it for that much money. Uh I just uh oops. Is there a question? Well, no. Go ahead and give and give your yeah, thoughts, yeah, and then I'm gonna ask yeah. you a question. So after. I, I think, um, I, I think the best game for me out of the whole thing ended up being, um, like new game anyway was the Circle of Trust. I thought that was the most interesting social dynamic. Like it brought something new. But all that build up for one like wrong button push, you know, for Sam and then and then we're rock, paper, scissoring for again, it all came down to luck. Like I wish I wish there had been something about the the final game that would have allowed the two players to sort of duel out their wits or strategy or social prowess or something. You know, how like Survivor, like the tables turn and, and they have to get voted the winner by their peers, like something crazy like that. But this was literally like pick the right key. And get lucky. Um, but I think that's how like most of the games went. So if that if that's how it goes, I guess it was just in Maya's cards to to pull home that victory. Um I just like looking back at the whole series too, I wish we had learned a little bit more about them earlier. Um, I understand why we didn't, but I did feel like I feel like we got <laughs> I don't know. Like, I wanted to know more about our, our final three by the time we got there, because um, we spent so much time on, like, like Brighton and Steven and Rick and stuff, which are all amazing characters. But they could have easily made those episodes, like, an hour and a half each, and we would have had so much more, like, caring for everybody that was going home. Wow, um, Jesse, man. God love that, girl. I didn't even think about that. So that was everything. yeah. They have they have so much content to pull from. Um, mm -hmm. Like I, I was talking earlier today with one of my friends who um, was like in the show. We thought he was going to be like a star because of how much they interviewed him and they like went to his hometown. And then like he got like completely like nixed from the series. And he has such an interesting story, you know, like stuff like that. They really could have um, given more background on people. Like um, even yeah, in the original the show. Thing. Yeah, like if they have if they have the time and they have an active audience, like they know people are going to tune in, they know people want more. They could have made these episodes longer. They could have gone for twenty episodes and people would have watched it all. You know, I'm like I'm like drop the um, drop the tea and like and like a little behind the scenes mini series or something. You know, like do like Squid Games the dorms and show us like what was going on behind the scenes because that context really mattered um, no, for like those big power moves. Mm -hmm. No, no. You, I, I think you and Brad are talking about the same person because you literally verbatim said there was somebody in the show that had a lot of interviews that were going to be the star. And I swear, I wonder if you guys are talking about the same exact person. Who? As, no, I don't. I, well, talk behind the scenes. I don't know if that's the same person <laughs> or not. But I'm just saying, she's saying there's a person in the room that kept getting the same, like, a lot of interviews, but did not get 
hardly any player or anything. So I'm wondering if it's the same person, but there um, were a lot of people I think that had that mm-hmm. happen to them. Um, I'm, 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 Tina has the question, but I just really want to know overall, did you like the episode? Um, I mean, I think it built the right amount of suspense, but I was like very let down by that game choice. And also, I don't know, for some reason, the gift, like the gift card being what, what was in the safe, like was like kind of a womp womp for me. I wanted to like money rain down, you know, like. Sheena, go ahead, baby. No, I agree with you, Jesse, about being let down that that was the final game and then being let down that there was a card in there. Like, right? I was like what? No, but as soon as I saw that that episode, because I was like, oh, this is the finale. The episode's going to be like an hour and a half. As soon right? as I thought the episode was 44 minutes, I was like, oh, they on bullshit. But this exactly. Is wanna, this is what I want to ask you. So, and this crossed my mind. So I want to know, you being on the show, what do you, who has so much more information than us, think? So my friend Tony said that they think that they rig the button the button pushing so that Mai would make it to the end. What do you think about that? See, that one is so it's so hard to tell because like it could be. Um they really I mean up until like I I was eliminated and from what I've heard from other friends like they really were adjudicating very fairly for the most part, you know, for everything else. Um I mean, like every every round that we went through, we had to like go past a game master and get checked out. But um, we also thought like in the warships game when they were drawing our numbers that they could have easily manipulated that like the big guys team gets picked first, you know, to make the drama. Um, Because like we were thinking about like the boxes that they pulled our numbers out of and you could easily be like on a headset going, okay, pull the top left one because that's this team. Um, So... I think I think it's possible. I'm inclined to want to believe no, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities. Uh, can I speak something about rigging stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the rigging to me, when I do my podcast, rigging is a very sensitive thing to me because it blurred the lines between which storyline would make sense? Because we all know it's, it's a reality TV. Which storyline would make sense? But my rigging could be... But I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure how great it is, but it's up in the air. That's just me. Okay, baby. I know. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use the emojis when you wanna, um, you know, just say something. The little right hand raise. I mean, hitting the wrong one, I guess. Shit. And yeah, there it is. The little hand raise on the right. You hear me, bloody? Mm. And hit yeah, that yeah, one yeah. so we'll know you want. Okay, baby. All right. So, um, go ahead. Like, like she's doing right now. See how Sheena, Betty, on the right. You see how she had a little hand on her. You see that up there? That means she yeah, got something to say. Okay. All right, baby. Go ahead, Sheena. <laughs> Um, so Tony, to be honest with you, I mean, it's Netflix, so I don't, I don't push rigging past any of these networks, but I genuinely think that my chose the triangle because the tables that they were sitting at were in the shape of a triangle. And she thought like, okay, maybe that means something good. So I'm going to choose triangle. That's why I think she chose that. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. Uh, that is a good point. That is exactly how we were thinking in there. And oh, yeah, Maya yeah. is so smart. Like, she would totally have jumped. Yeah, I could definitely see that being the case. What were y'all saying in there watching? Because I know some people, because Kavion came in my own space and he said that he hadn't even watched it and some hadn't watched it. So, are y'all in a group watching it uh, together or is it just like, how y'all doing it right now? Um, there's like, um, there's like a London watch party happening right now with like a bunch of London squids. Some people, um, are headed down to Atlanta tomorrow to watch it like a day late. And, um, their little star cast, um, like their big, their big main cast, uh, got flown to New York. So they were like at the premiere party, but, um, I'm sick. So I'm at home (laughs) alone. (laughs) Oh, well, first of all, all of y'all are stars. Let's start there. Oh, I feel bad, mama. I'm sorry. (laughs) 
<laughs> but, but I'm saying all of y'all are stars, period. Okay, so let's let's do that. But um, so uh, Tony has a question. Go ahead, baby. I see you up here. How you doing, Tony? Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, I just wanted to clarify on what I previously said. So my assumption, I mean, I never put it past production to kind of rig it because they want the storyline. Um, so my thing is, is that um, I think if one of the other two players would have went up first, regardless of what button they pushed, they would have gotten um, red. And then, um, or potentially even, uh, I don't know, maybe, because if, if you were to get um, green, you would, you're not able to pick somebody, right? Or did they say you could pick somebody? Can you clarify? No, you could. You right, could, yeah, okay. if you're green, yes. So my only thing was, just for the suspense purposes of it, I think there was a potential that whoever went up first was going to get gray regardless. But if that person wasn't my, then the next person was going to get red just to not give that choice. But if it was my, she would have gotten green um, just to kind of like have her choice and who to pick. So I think they gave her gray because she went first. And uh, it would have been n not as suspenseful if she would have had to choose somebody. They were going to give that – they were going to, like, make whoever the second person was up to get to get that, that um, red button. I don't know if that makes sense. But I personally think that based on how they edit it, based on how the storyline, based on everything, I totally think they rigged it for my – you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> oh, damn. So does everybody okay. think that? What is the reason that you think they rigged it for mine? Like her, why are they rigging for her specifically? Well, I think, so they, I mean, I'm sure uh, they interviewed people specifically um, like throughout the whole thing. But I think the most compelling storyline uh, getting down to it was like, because she was doing so well, they were able to give her a good story arc in terms of her like struggles and all that, which they could have done with anybody. But I think when it, when it came down to those final three, they were going to kind of rig it for her just because she had the more, um, her story arc was just better than the other two. I mean, the other two had things that they were like, you know, had their own um, story arcs. But I think Mize was just the way she played the game. So um, calculated made it seem like as opposed to the other two they just she was more of a game player i think they wanted to highlight the actual gaming aspect which she provided i want to say that everybody that i, I interviewed and i won't speak for jesse because i interviewed her also but even tj who literally i feel like if it hadn't been for tj she wouldn't be where she's at um you know he said he would do it again but even when i talked to other people like brownie you know, she was like, uh, oh, Tony, please mute yourself, mama. Uh, uh, or baby, please mute yourself. Um, so uh, people were like, not really happy that TJ did it. Not saying TJ was bad or anything like that, but just saying they wish that they wouldn't, he wouldn't have helped her. I just found the opposite of that where people I've interviewed was like saying, you know, that Mai was just being strategic and she was being calculated, but not necessarily wanting to help her get to the end. I don't know. I, I, I get what you're saying with that because real, reality TV is like that. But to me, I would feel like the production would want to get either Sam uh, to win or I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I want to ask real quick. Hold on, Sheena. Jesse, what do you think about that? Because when I asked you about my, I can't remember what you said. That's why I didn't want to speak for you. Yeah. So, OK, um, I think I think it's interesting, like the whole talk about strategy and this particular game show and competition, because like, to me, even watching it and, and, like, it really only came into play for me for possibly, like, picking what Marvel's game you played for Circle of Trust. And, I mean, Mai made a good strategic move on the dice game, like, being captain um, and, like, a move, removing herself. She tried to, anyway, from that equation. Um, but I think what we have to remember about, like, the, the rigging aspect of it is like we only see what storylines and we only see what moves and motivations they want us to see. So it could go either way. It could go by the game, they need her to find out they bring the button. Or it is Maya's like playing a normal average game, but they are highlighting her moves and her motivations to make us think that she's playing a strategic game because she made it to the end by chance. 
um i'll, I'll use the example of like, like b's um battleship game right like me and b had the exact same battleship outcome we were one hit away the only difference was she won in a game of luck so they made her look like a genius and they make me look like an idiot but it's all in the editing right like they can twist your perspective as to how somebody's playing the game by what scenes they choose to show or not so um I think at the end of the day, like, they were doing everything they could to keep it as fair and as, like, lucky as possible. But my only lingering doubt is just because of the buttons, because it's so easy to manipulate. Like, they totally could if they wanted to, unlike the other games. Because then they have a top two that, you know, they can say, like, are story worthy, but then it really is up to chance who wins. Tina, you know, I'm curious to know about the rigging. What do you think about it? Because I, to be, before y'all brought it up and you, Tony brought, I didn't think about it to be honest. Um, I don't think that they rigged for my. I don't, especially not that elaborate explanation that Tony gave. I don't think they're gonna do all that because they already like they already got what they wanted out of my like. The everything that happened with her being chosen, her getting number 20 for the glass bridge, like she, you know, TJ picked her second for the schoolyard pick, everything that she did with Circle of Trust, like they got a lot out of my. And I just think once you look at her background, like I said, so it was luck what button she chose, but once she made it through. I, it like she's winning like once they said it was rock paper scissors she had the strategy down she used it and it worked she was going to win almost by default just because she had so many more chances to pick keys so no I don't I don't think it was rigged for her that's such a good point about her storyline like you're right they got everything they wanted out of she made these power moves. They had a whole story arc, and it either would have been at that moment a triumphant move to the final, or it would have been a really, really hard hitting elimination at that point. Both of which are valuable to editors. And I just, I just want to say one more thing before somebody else speaks. Um, Sam's story that they revealed tonight about, you know, basically being ostracized from his family after coming out and all that—that's a good story too. Like, honestly, of the three of them, Phil's story is kind of the weakest because they are just saying, you know, like, I had these odd jobs and I didn't make a lot of money and I lived paycheck to paycheck my whole life. And so I've had help. So if I win, I'm going to give money to a bunch of people. And Jesse, I don't know if you've been in one of the spaces where I've said this, but like, I have not been a my fan. I didn't like, I felt like she targeted Ashley during the, the dice game. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. She didn't. This space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today. A woman for the schoolyard pick. I didn't like that she was talking about Ashley's not a team player when, in my opinion, she wasn't a team player because she didn't pick a woman. Like, I didn't like it. When she said that story tonight about I was 19, I got pregnant. My family completely put me out, turned their back on me. I had no idea how to be a mother. And now I'm by myself and now I'm pregnant. That was the moment where I was like, okay, if she wins, I'll be okay with it. And so I feel like, I mean, it's Netflix. Like they know how to tell a story, you know? And so I kind of feel like if they were rigging, I feel like it more would have been my and Sam in the end because I feel like their stories are are better. Hundred percent, I agree with that. I hundred percent agree with Sheena. Um, the story with her about the nineteen year old. The reason why I can really feel, you know, touched by it because <laughs> that happened to me. Not my family's listening. Nothing in my family is owning me or anything like that because they would kill me if I said that. But I went through a lot. I was nineteen, got pregnant, and it was a whole hot mess. I'll tell you a story one day. I will. I don't mind telling you. My kids are grown in college now and are great adults. But it was a hard time. So when she did that, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't her fan, a lot of it. But that moment, I was like, damn, she got me. 
You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Go ahead, Tony. Yeah, I want to clarify. Um, I don't think they rigged the game for her because that second part with the rock, paper, scissors was absolutely chance. And the um, her winning that was based on her, like her gameplay in her head and how she was able to strategize to beat him continuously. What I do want to say is I definitely think they rigged it to make her at least one of the final two. And I do agree that Sam's story is compelling as well. And of course, there's probably a lot of stuff they didn't show us um, that could have made their story arcs a lot more interesting. But I do still believe that once it got down to the final like couple of people, I think they they or at least these three, I think it would have been it would have been just way more interesting to have my go into the end. And that's why I think that at least that final dinner with the button pushing thing. Personally, I think it was not so much chance and more of like the order in which uh, they would have gone and making sure Mai made it into that final two. Well, Tony, I'm going to challenge you on this. You say that, but just like what Sheena was saying about the storyline, I feel like that, you know, especially in 2023, Sam's storyline, I'm not saying that my storyline does not touch us, but I'm older and it's always been a storyline of the young woman who had the child and struggled. And this is a story. I just said, I had to say it was not the same story, but I had, you know, I knew about it. Story that um, Sam is talking about. That's a storyline that is not highlighted as often. People from the community that struggled. To, he had to hold, he had to get a hold of the family because his real family, you know, did what he did to them. So I feel like his story to me will be more, production will push it. If I was a producer, which I'm going to be one day, if I was a producer, I would push Sam's story over my my, um, my story. And I'm just telling you that from my experience of being in reality TV for over 10 years, talking to producers for over 10 years, and just knowing the game, I feel like they would push, my story is old story. We've already talked about over 10, 15 years about a woman that's had a baby out of well like and woe is me, and it's it's a sad story. It is again to experience some of that, but I feel like that Sam story would be if they was to push it or try to rig something. I think it would have been Sam. That's my opinion. Tony, I know your hand was up. What do you guys say? I agree. Sam's story is compelling. It's interesting, but as a producer, there's only so much you can do. If Sam's story was, um, what's his name, the guy that the main like that everyone thought was a villain, um. Four three two. Yeah, if Sam, imagine if four three two had Sam's story and played the game and was as interesting and charismatic and like villainous as four three two, they would they would have more of a reason to potentially push it for him. But my the the thing is is that you can only make a story so interesting if his confessionals and his gameplay aren't interesting there's not really much you can do about it you can only use your backstory for so much you have to have character you have to have like, no i agree Tony. You know I, I, mean? I agree with that I, I, I don't look, think I has. no no i get, i get what you're saying the pizzazz the pop no i get that you gotta have that too i understand that i'm stating as 2023 if i'm gonna push a story as a producer or rig it or whatever you're not rig it bad but just enough for that person to get through I would say Sam has the story. And if they wanted to, they could have did it anyway. Just period. Sheena? Well, I mean, 432, they they don't care about what they do with 432 in this show because he's already going to make more money for them because he's going to be on another show. He, he already got another Netflix Amen. show. Amen. So he, he did enough for people to be interested to watch the next show because let me tell you, I will be sad. And what I will, this is what I will say. So I've seen him on two different lives that somebody did. And I have to say, obviously, I've never met the man. Off the show, he seems so much more like chill and cool and a regular guy. And one of these spaces that Kamisha did, somebody talked about how they felt like he once he realized that he could get more camera time basically by playing into the villain role that's what he decided to do and i kind of see that because in just the short snippets i've seen of him in regular life he does not seem like that guy that he was on the show at all but second what i want to say is i do kind of see where you're coming from a little bit tony because so my went first right my goes first and gets gray if Sam 
had gone up and gotten green and could choose, he would have cut mine. And if he cut my, I'm sorry, but it would just not be as interesting to watch Sam and Phil pay, play rock, paper, scissors. So it's maybe it was that like my says she's going first and then it's like, OK, we'll leave it up to chance, whatever. However, they randomize it. She gets whatever she gets. Well, maybe it's like we'll make sure she doesn't get red. So she's either going to get gray or she's going to get green. And then once she got gray, it's like, OK, whoever's going next is getting red. That is possible because it would have been very boring to watch Sam and Phil pay rock, paper, scissors. I'm just going to be honest because it would have just been like rock, 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 rock. <laughs> like they fucking still be playing rock, paper, scissors right now. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I don't know. I don't know, Tony. I can see it both ways. I don't, I don't know what happened. I want to point out something interesting about the laws behind um like game shows specifically in the UK that um we had to sort of read about in our like pre-contestant materials is that while it does say that producers like reserve the right to like eliminate players or bring them back or you know sort of take people in and out of the competition as they deem necessary it explicitly also states like in laws for game game shows in Britain that they cannot tamper with the games themselves so I'm thinking if they really had wanted to manipulate circumstances, they may have done something like what they did with 198 in the telephone call, which was to create some kind of advantage or, um, or dorm something, you know, there, there were other ways that they could have manipulated that situation outside of like a game specific thing. Um, had they truly wanted to do that, like they could have, they could have made a twist, let's say mine didn't make it through the where she just boom comes busting through the door because she found something on the floor on her way out quote wink wink nudge nudge you know um like that's how they got 198 on the phone. they rang it for him to get him eliminated because we all hated him <laughs> um not wink wink nudge nudge I hate that that theater man mm -hmm. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> as you're talking for some reason you're, it's like your voice goes in and out I'm not sure you have AirPods on or anything, but like if somebody's just going like, oh, I might have talk, a crappy connection. Okay, you're, it's like maybe you turn your head. I don't know what it is, but um, girl, I love you because I know I, I hear the theater. You said my quick week. She is such. I want you to tell, <laughs> I want you to tell people what you're doing right now because I want to speak on it because I, I watch you and follow you on TikTok and like she oh. you this TikTok. So what are you? What what play? I know it's off top B. I'm sorry. You want to say real quick? What play are you in right now? What are you doing right now? Um, I'm working on two shows right now. I am Ooh. Um, doing A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, which is a musical at one theater. And then I'm in rehearsals for Holla Divas. I'm a Holla Diva. It's a cabaret for the holidays at a different theater. <laughs> so I'll be oh saying. I love cabaret. And see, I, mm -hmm. I'm hoping you're going to post that because, you know, I follow you. Go ahead, Sheena Boo Boo. Um, I'm actually really glad that you brought that up, Jesse about the laws and the rules because I was thinking about that as well because like for example the challenge here in the states and big brother like they're reality shows they're not game shows so they don't have to follow as strict as of rules to make sure that everything is fair and so I was wondering about that as well and then you mentioned because I was forgetting that the show was filmed in the UK and that's the laws that they would have to abide by so I kind of feel like that makes it even less likely that it was rigged and it's like it's their first time doing like they of course they, technically they've done other quote unquote game shows but I feel like this is Netflix's first true game show yes there's a lot of luck involved but there is strategy involved and I feel like they would want to get this one right so now that you brought that information now I'm leaning back towards no rigging again okay I'm not gonna call you blood money I'm just gonna call you money because it remind me of a 70s pimp I don't know why money you got your hand up look at you love it what's your what you gotta say baby Okay, uh, this is question for Jesse. Uh, Jesse, can you open the mic, please? Can you hear me? I can okay. hear you. Uh, okay, baby. Okay. Uh, baby. <laughs> hold, hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay, baby. My, all you got to do, baby, just she hear you, baby. Just go, <laughs> she's talking about go to the mic. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, money. Sorry. Answer the question. All right. Uh, Jesse, can you 
Open the mic, please. But I said, uh, I, say, uh, I, say, I said, you don't have to oh, say sorry. that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I love him so sorry, much, I Jacob. just need to find out. I need a you, perfect baby, You know, I got I you. Want... You're my baby. You good. You good. You good. You safe place. You good. Just go ahead and ask the okay. baby. She's listening. Okay, Jesse, would you do the challenge in the near future or you want to do another Squid Game season two? Oh, I... Um, I don't know. Like, A, I'm not allowed to do Squid Game Season 2, but I would. Um, but I really would love to play a game that, I like, is less luck and more strategy. Like, I'm dying to go on, like, the Traders or, like, MTV Ooh. The Challenge or, like, The Circle or The Mole. Um, because I didn't get to play any social strategy. And your girl's an actress, and she would slay that. Um, <laughs> Period. I and might Jesse, be a villain, and- but... <laughs> Okay, uh, Jesse, would you do Survivor or The Amazing Race if you have to um, have a partner? Amazing Race, absolutely. Survivor, no, because I can't sleep on bamboo and I would love sleep. Hey, Figgy <laughs> done that? Figgy yes, done that? I, I love Figgy. Figgy did Survivor. I don't think I could do it, though. Oh, okay. I would love the challenges on Survivor, but I don't think I could live like that. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, hold on. Why, I'm sorry. Why can't y'all do season two? Because somebody else, I think it was Ashley, some Ashley in her live was saying something about that. But why can't y'all do it again? Um, they just, I've asked a couple producers, and I think they really just want like a clean slate. Um, and if if they really want to bring back anybody from season one, I'm sure it will be like one of their like features. You know, as like a guest star. But I think one of the um, one of the cool things about this show was having like such a wide diverse cast. So I think stunt casting it would kind of dilute that a little bit. Um, but also season two is going to be a ways off. Um, they're not going to release the season two of the, the challenge until after season two of the real show comes out. So it'll be like a 26 or 27 release probably. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know, okay. First of all, if I do get it, Jesse, I won't be able to say anything. So it'll be behind the scenes conversation. I don't want to get eliminated though. So it depends. <laughs> she, go ahead, baby. Okay. So just so you know, the space is recorded. <laughs> and two. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. So and two, Netflix. If you ever hear this, you should do a Squid Game second chances season. Because I would love yes. to see Jess, Jesse play again. Like, I don't think it's fair that y'all can't play. I mean, I understand, you know, the newness of it, like you said. But I would love to see you play again, Chaney play again, Felicia play again, Ashley play again. Like, there's a TJ, Darius, there's a lot of y'all that I would love to see play again. So I might have to add Netflix and be like, listen, y'all need to do a second chances season and bring these people back. But um, you named a lot of shows, Jesse. I didn't hear you say Big Brother. Would you play that? Um, I think I would. Um, I think that's a long time to take off of work. <laughs> no, but I would totally be down for that. I think, like, if we could get like a Squid House of Big Brother, I would be so down. We I would, would eat that up. See- I would love to see you play Big Brother, just especially because you mentioned, you know, you're an actress and everything. Uh-huh. I think your I think your social game would be great. So I would love to see you play Big Brother. I know you're under contract for a year, but when your contract is up, I would love to see you apply for that. Here's here's how I feel about my contract. I'm like, I had a little cameo moment. I feel like if I had something on lock, I'm gonna go to Netflix and be like, you release me from this. Cause what who who cares about me at the end of that? I'm going to this place, you know. I think yeah, see, I think they're more bro, concerned bro. about um, their finalists and some of like like Brighton is obviously going to be under contract with Netflix for a while. But um, we are we are allowed to appeal that, so I'm still applying to things. Jesse, okay, I'm gonna say this: Jesse, apply, yes, but I know cast from other different shows. I just say be very careful because. It depends on the network and how they feel about you doing that. Uh, some of them get um, petty. So I just say communicate with them constantly about it and just be careful. That's all I'm telling you. Because I know. From oh, yeah. Shows, we've got our we've got our contacts for that type of thing. Period. Period. Look at most, of, most of the shows Ooh. I want to be on. Shoot. They aren't even open for casting yet. 
Oh, well, that's what I told you before behind the scenes. You might be just on time that when it's ready, at the, at, at the end of the contract, sometimes they... I'll be quiet. Anyway, uh, ah. go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead, money. Go ahead, money. Okay. Uh, this one's I need to talk about. Before you came to the season, do you sign the NDAs, the non-disclosure agreement? All of the paperwork of every kind, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you know why NDA sometimes can be annoying? Because there's no transparency. Because like, hey, what happened to that player? Oh, he got kicked off off camera. You know me. Because when you don't give me something, it's like, oh, no, we're not going to do that. You know, you know about me because I want transparency. What is going on? If you don't give me something, it's like that darn NDA say you can't say anything. What went down? Keep your mouth shut. That's all I need to I, say. No, I can't, okay, baby. I kind of want she because she she y'all know she's you know she's a lawyer and this is what she practices. So stuff stuff like this, I kind of uh, mute yourself, baby. Money, please. I kind of, you know, I lean to my sister about this kind of stuff. So NDAs, I know that it's different for different people who take mail time, different for different things or whatever. Um, but um, I want you to, if you can, Sheena, break down NDA, what it means. Because not everybody knows what it actually means. Oh, so basically it just means um, NDA just stands for a non-disclosure agreement. And everybody that gets involved with these shows and sometimes even their family members. And we all know about, you know, like celebrity NDAs and stuff like that. Basically, it's just a confidentiality agreement basically saying you can't disclose anything that you learn that the public is not going to know, basically. And if you do, we're going to sue you. Which is why I'm actually very surprised to hear you say, Jesse, that you can appeal your contract. That's actually pretty cool because I would love to see you on Big Brother. So sooner rather than later. Start start tagging <laughs> CBS. You know? <laughs> so, Do it, y'all. Uh, let's get a crowd movement going. <laughs> let, let's go, girl. Because I, you, and especially a whole bunch of y'all from Squid Games, I would love to see y'all play the game together. I think you'd be y'all would be great, especially because a lot of y'all seem to be really good strategists. And a lot of times CBS ends up casting like people that want to be influencers. And that's not really good for gameplay. So, you know. Well, I think the fact that everybody in a mama has literally tagged you guys and damn near all the challenges. I think I tagged Johnny Bananas um, and like half of y'all at my interviews and the clips. I'm like, look, these guys are ready. You know, as it is, they already have a slew of uh, rookies in training, as I call them, coming to take the vet's throne. Um, so, you know, I feel like that you guys really – I feel like you guys really, um, I don't know, you guys really have impressed the world as far as reality TV. I think people are bored. Um, we've been seeing the same vets in every show, same winner, same whatever. And I just think that um, they want to see some new blood. And I, uh, so this Rocky, I think, I'm, I know I've seen you in my page before. Um, I've been drinking, so I kind of <laughs> actually added you without even checking with my, uh, my sister, which is Betty. So this Rocky, this be you on the speaker. So yes, I was just waiting to be spoken to. Okay, 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 baby. I'm speaking to you now, sweetie. So I'm just gonna say thank you for coming up and actually waiting like you just stated out so so far. You have to understand people come up here and sometimes act foolish. So understand um why I'm saying what I'm saying. Don't take it personal. So baby, you have the floor. I I have the floor. Yes. Oh, I want to do Squid Games. I wonder how do I get on there? All right. Well, the application for season two just opened. Um, so right now it's a pretty basic application, but you really need to pay attention to your video. Um, you have one minute to two minutes to kind of explain who you are, why you want to play. And the best advice I can give to you is think about the thing that makes you stand out from everybody else whether that's your story, whether that's your strategy, 
or anything else um, and make sure that is the focus and don't put on a front. Um, I watched a lot of people like I was kind of combing through Reddit forums this is like the year of my application went by um, and seeing like what other people did for their videos. And some of them were very contrived and very influencery and heavily edited mine. I literally set up my camera, like my phone on selfie mode and I filmed it in my living room in one take with like no makeup in my like gym clothes. Cause I was like, they want to just see you. And that's really true. Um, just make sure, like I said, you find something to highlight. Um, and then you can see where that goes. That sounds great. Where's the application? Or do you have a link? Uh, Squidgamecasting.com. It's actually this rock. I think I posted it. Uh, it's on my page, on my Twitter page. I actually um, posted it on my page. So go okay. ahead and uh, check it out there, okay? okay. And then you, it's, it's really quick. But like she said, I think it's like a minute. It's like a minute long or something like that. I did a video. It was really quick. Like she just said, literally had what she said in my living room. You know, talk about talk. I think uh, Brownie said, she said some stuff like, I lost everything. She's being honest. She said, she's been, like I just said, she's been transparent. She said, I lost everything. I lost all my stuff. I, my mom is, you know, whatever she's going through. And that's the kind of video she said in. So. I'm looking on your page right now and I'm trying to figure out where... Oh, well. Well, I'm a blogger, so I post a lot. So you probably got to go all the way to the very top. But um, I think Jesse gave you the link. Take the link again, Jesse. What's the name of it? Squid Game. It's just squidgamecasting.com. I would also recommend um, following um, Joy Gordo on on Instagram. She posts a lot of um, casting calls, and she might be able to help you. Like, I, I put her name on my application because they usually like to look for, um, like, references, too. How do you spell her name? Joy Gordo, J O Y G O R D O. Just kind of troll around Instagram. You'll start to find some like casting producers, and those are good names to follow. You said J O Y G O Y D O? G G O R D O. That's why. Jesse, if you can, can you type it in the um, comments on the right? Yeah, I'm trying to find yeah. my damn though. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord yeah i have a whole big old crown over here i shouldn't be drinking so much of it because now i'm just kind of crazy in this space but no that's awesome uh that you get the information out because people do want to know about getting on the casting uh this rocky do you have any more questions baby no i don't thank you so okay. much for helping no problem babe Sheena, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Now, now I can. Girl, I, think you were, on? I think you were talking on mute. Oh my God. No, it's not that. Some, I'm, I'm, having pro, I'm having problems with Twitter this whole entire freaking night. I fucking hate this shit. Anyway, what I, was, I actually was praising Sheena. Isn't that some shit? I was saying that this is off topic, and I was saying to her in the back chat, I was saying to her, I love her. And it sounds corny, but. It's okay if we, if when we can say that, because I do. She fusses at me behind the scenes and on live, and that's how I know that's somebody who really fucks with me. And so I just want her to know on live that I love her. And Jesse, the same. I want to say I love you too because even though you know I did an interview with you, I literally felt the genuine like just vibe as soon as I interviewed her for the first time, and she's been supporting me ever since. So she's just like super everything. So I really want to hear guys um, about like I know we, we talk about her uh, you know the winner and everything else 
And now that we see the moving on Instagram, all these things, and people were saying it was Phil because he got a new haircut, all this stuff, all this speculation. What do we think is going to happen with the new season? Um, I want to start with Sheena. I want to ask a question about season two. Do you think it's going to be like, bef- uh, I don't want to say buffoonery, but foolishness and craziness now because we've had this first season and we're going to have the second season? What do you think? What I what I actually am expecting, and Jesse, I'd really like to get your opinion on this. I think that they're gonna make the games harder. Like they didn't do so they kept expecting tug of war like the entire season, and then they never did it. So I'm definitely expecting that they're gonna do tug of war season two. And they'll do, you know, they'll do red light, green light, because that's a classic. They'll do um I don't know. I don't know what the real name is. It like Delonga, Delonaga for the cookie challenge. They'll probably do that because that's a classic and there'll be a lot of drama over, you know, who doesn't want to get umbrella. But I think that the rest of the games, they're probably going to do something harder just because, you know, we've seen this whole first season. Jesse. I, yeah, I think that, um, I, it's hard to tell because we don't know what season two of the drama series looks like. Um, so I think it will largely follow that format. What I'm hoping doesn't happen is that um, one of the things that I made, I think made this, this cast so interesting and like the way that the people navigated everything so interesting was because we really truly had no idea and no like preconceived notions outside of like the TV show and so I'm hoping that, A, they don't choose to just cast, like, a slew of influencers. Because, uh, to me, like, that's when shows start to get boring. Um, like, The Circle, honestly, like, there's a lot of re- repetitive, like, personality types on there. Because they just pull from people who are Instagram influencers at this point. So I hope that their casting stays, like, sort of true to what they did in season one. Which was just interesting people from around the world. Um, I expect there to be a lot more, like twists i think they're gonna lead them into thinking like you know maybe we're doing dalgona and then the shapes are going to be completely different from what you would expect um i think they might add more social strategy into the front half of the game because that's really what people focus on and i think they might get rid of more people faster in season two um because as we saw like (laughs) They packed so much into our dorm life. Um, so, like, timeline-wise of filming, like, Warships was day six, and they only filmed for, like, like 12 days. But Warships was episode three. So, like, everything that happened after that, they went, they filmed, like, boom, 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 boom. Um, and they cut so much from, like, our first week of filming. So I think they're going to just focus more in general on, like, the social strategy and try to get the crowd cut down very quickly. <laughs> Um. Ooh. Did I like totally buzz out of this? But no, I can tell. My, my face, my face hit a link, and I was like, "Oh crap!" Am I talking to myself? No, um, no. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, scared, so, Jesse. I'm scared, Jesse. No, be- I'm I, just scared. No, I'm scared they might call me because I'm like, what if they are actually watching this shit? Listening to space and listening to everything, listening to y'all. If they ask y'all, y'all don't tell. They're talking to y'all about us, and they choose us like because they've seen us like bloggers and just everyday people that have been. You know, I'm scared. Like I watched the original. Let me ask you a question real quick. And me, she talked about this earlier before you came. I've been watching the original, which is what <clears throat> Sheena and my even my dude was telling me to watch. What I want to ask you is, you're who? Uh, anyway. Um, stop it. <laughs> so oh my God. I had too much brown stuff in my cup. It should be empty. <laughs> Damn it. But um, I want to ask. Oh my God, I can't stand her. No, I really love her, but she don't know what I mean by that. Um, did the first movie actually motivate? I'm sorry, show motivate you to actually go on there because like, it's traumatic. I'm watching it. I'm not even like completely done with it. I'm just like, bro, I don't know who. <laughs> how were y'all motivated to go on the show? I mean, I, I was like a fan, um, an unwilling fan almost of the original series when it came out because I heard the hype and I was like, what, do you, what the heck? Like, what is this about? And I got, I got really into it. Um, but when this casting call came around, 
honestly, like I honestly applied on a whim. Like I wasn't a super fan. I was just like, huh, that could be fun. And like something about being on season one of a show like really appealed to me versus season five, six or seven of something like like being the original cast, like from now on, anybody like that plays this game that gets number two twenty is going to be looking back and trying to figure out who two twenty was in season one, and it's always going to be me. You know, like that's kind of cool. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, but it definitely motivated like me trying to figure out what was going on, what we were in there. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I mean, I, <clears throat> I want to ask you, but since. I'm on a live, and since my sister, I want to say that I always sense and know when you're mad. I just wanted to say that. But anyway, um, to continue on, uh, <laughs> Jesse, like, girl, I just, I don't know. I'm still watching it. I'm going to finish watching it because she never been freaking bugging me by watching it. And she's right. I should have watched it. Honestly, now I realize I should have it. Even my dude, whatever he is, I should be watching it as, as well. But it's just traumatic. I'm trying to figure out how so many people wanted to sign up for this show when literally in real life, we're like, when that dude on the floor, he was like, oh man, you know, uh, you eliminated, get up, dude. And he spit out blood. I was like, what the? F-? I'm like yelling at the iPad, like, why? What? How did y'all want to go on this show? Like, there's blood and shit. It's not ink. Like, I don't get it. Like, I just don't get the connection. So, I know you're a fan, but like, and then when the door was closed and couldn't get out, I'm like, the white shoes was dirty. I'm like, oh, speaking of that, no one talked about y'all shoes, bro. Somebody zoomed in on one of y'all shoes. Okay, do y'all have the same pair of shoes? And I'm never asking any of y'all, and I forgot. Are y'all wearing the same pair of shoes the entire time, Jesse? Same shoes, same track suit, same t-shirt. Only thing we got every day was different underwear. And the girls were allowed to bring two two sports bras in. So I have my shoes to this day. Actually, I technically wore two because my uh, first pair of shoes for red light, green light day were too small. Um, so I had to exchange and get a size that actually fit. Um, but mine are pretty grimy. Uh, no, wait dorms. a minute, girl. Same T-shirt. You wore oh, the yeah. same shirt for three weeks? It, it it wasn't three weeks. Um, the longest that people were in there, like Sam, Mai, and Phil were only in there for like fourteen, like twelve days. Oh, okay. But, wow, that's um, a lot to film in twelve days. Yeah, there was a lot, a lot, a lot going on. But yeah, it started stanky after a while. <laughs> after like two days in the dorms. Where did it? With two hundred people. <laughs> Oh girl, I know it was a mess. <laughs> some of them, some of those boys, those bros in the workout corner who were sweating <laughs> willingly. I cannot oh believe my God. They y'all one foot oh, for Jesus. twelve days. That is, I crazy. actually think, I think for the second half of the season, I actually think they did laundry after marbles, especially because of all the sand. Okay. Um, on that set, yeah. Um, but even so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta say those tracksuits are comfortable at least. Oh. Jesus Christ. And stank sounds like stank as well. Like because it sounds like it was When I say like I so I went to um I went to like this escape room in, in Louisiana over the summer and like the the freshly painted walls of this like warehouse and the escape room smelled exactly like the dorm. And I was so triggered because it was such a, like, it was, like, musty, but it also smelled like fresh paint from when they had, like, done the sets. And it was, like, like people, oh, God, it was so distinct, like, getting fresh air on the one day that I was able to go outside was, like, oh, amazing. See, there, see, see, see. Mm. So, did no, I'm going to ask a question. Did, were there nobody in the house that said, it's thank like- you know, I mean, not, I'm not being dramatic, but like, nobody had a moment. It was like, y'all nasty. Hold on, did y'all shower? I'm not being yes, there were, there were showers. Did we had communal, communal showers. Mm. As, at least communal in the sense that it was, it was like um, stalls, but all in one open, like one big room. And then um, they gave us soap, they gave us shampoo, they gave us conditioner. We had toothbrush and toothpaste. 
we had a brush um but you know <laughs> it was cute it was better than survivor she said it was cute yeah we were all we were all trying to do the best you can see i can like spot myself in like some of the clips um during the phone call I'm like walking across the dorm to the phone, like twirling my hair because I had just gotten out of the shower and I was trying to get it to curl right. <laughs> oh, like, girl. <laughs> oh my God. It just sounds like it was like y'all had so many. Well, not, I mean, just being funny, it's like struggles. Like for me, I don't know. Like, like right now, I just got my hair done. I, I couldn't see myself out of crap. I got my head right now in this situation. I would be like fucking struggling. I'm struggling here in my house right now. Like, I'm in pain. I don't want to say it out loud, but I'm like in pain. So I got my hair done today, and I'm just like in a different world. I'm just like in struggle mode. But anyway, it's my struggle. But <laughs> like, girl, I'm just like, I don't know. First, you threw me with, but I, I was watching the show today, and I was watching the shoes. No, I was watching them run through the blood. Is what made me ask you that. And like all those shoes were dirty. I thought about you know, their shoes were dirty even on y'all shows. Like they change shoes because those shoes were white. So to me, that color is hard to keep clean. That's why I want to know. Yeah, like, they did... were white. Uh, damn. Okay, so besides <laughs> the stanky, the, the, the stanky smell, I cannot believe not one black woman in the house. I'm sorry, the only black woman in the house is still gonna say it's stank y'all nasty. Cause to me, oh, did they give y'all deodorant? Did they have deodorant. Um, so they did have deodorant, kind of. It was like. It was like this big spray bottle and it, whatever antiperspirant they gave us was like totally watered down because um, it only kind of worked. <laughs> no, some some of them girls were like, yeah, y'all stank. Like, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, no, not y'all stank. So was the men who was stank or the women or both? Um, I mean, some of the bigger guys were putting off odors. Uh, but honestly, like, like some of those longer days, like you're under studio lighting, you know, and we're all just kind of like, hanging out in this dorm eating you know like shitty food oatmeal like um nobody smelled cute you know i think cute is your word like you know how like older people see you with the baby at church the baby at that attractive and they'll say uh the oh, baby because their daddy yeah <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I can't. Just that's that's that. me. That's me with kids. People are like, "Hey, or take my toddler." I'm like, "Oh, you're so cute." <laughs> yes, no, you know what? Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So anyway, with the show, with the show, I'm ending. I know it's going to probably be talked about, you know, for the rest of the week or the weekend or whatever. But um, I want to talk to Mai so bad. I want her in these spaces. I really want to talk to her and just like... She just joined Instagram today. Bro, wait a minute. Go Sit ahead. Sit to me. Sit yeah, in to me. Yeah, I will. Wait. You did not say it to me. I am so hurt right now. She literally just joined like an hour before the finale. Sit to me like right now, right now. I'm in my inbox. <laughs> Look at- I'm Me too. <laughs> I'm in your. I'm in your. I'm like. Let me go to her name. Oh my God, Sheena, you anything you, you want to say, baby? We're just talking shit. You think you want to say, baby? Sheena. No, she I don't have anything okay. I want to say. Okay. If you're talking, you're on mute. Dear God. Anyway. <laughs> I want to say thank you for the thousandth time to the cast for the interviews I've had. Hopefully, I will have interviews after this. Um, if I don't, I want to say I've had some great interviews with Cook and Jesse. Um, and thank you for giving, you know, just your time to my channel. So, if I don't do any more after this, it's been an awesome season and it's been a blessing to my channel and just been enjoying the conversations, um, you know. But Jesse, did you hit me up already? Huh? Did you hit me up? At IG? Did you see him? I did. Okay, okay. All right. That being said, y'all, I'm gonna go and have my business. I love y'all. I'm out. Bye.
This space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today.